Hi folks, welcome to one more episode of STEM Division Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about seven practical challenges in SNOP deployment. I have worked with SNOP since 2008 and I have worked as a demand planner, I have worked as a materials manager, supply chain manager, division supply chain manager and the regional manager, right? So in this video, I'm going to share the seven biggest challenges I have seen and try to overcome for SNOP deployment. The first one, and which I think is the most important one, which is lack of executive sponsorship and support. SNOP is essentially a business level process, right? So all the executives and the managers need to get involved. So if you have the highest ranking executive, if he or she is not interested in sponsoring the executive review, and I can assure you that that will die, right? So what do you have to do to get the buying in? Uh, that means you have to go and basically mentor and coach, almost try to sell the SNOP process, tell them the benefit that it helps you with balance between demand and supply, you know, it will improve your customer service, it will reduce your inventory, it will increase your response, response rate, so on and so forth, right? Maybe you can basically give them my SNOP course, which is available on SCM Dujo courses, which help them, you know, getting some knowledge, right? The point I'm making is this, that you need to get a buying in. If you, if you don't get the buying in from your executive responses, it will not work. Second is lack of SNOP knowledge and its benefit in a cross-functional team. So what I mean by cross-functional team, because SNOP is essentially a cross-functional process. So it helps the cross-functional team, your sales team, marketing team, finance team, product, manufacturing, supply chain, to work together and have one coherent communication plan. So, but if the people are not trained on what are the right inputs, agenda item, output, and what they should expect from the SNOP process and what are the benefit, it's just not going to work. So my strong recommendation is that before you embark on an SNOP journey, so regardless what function they work, work for, you need to get them in and give them an overview and the benefits of SNOP. Again, mentioning to training, there's a course available on STM Dojo courses. You can go and have a look and you can share with them and hopefully that will give you enough knowledge and give them enough knowledge to make the most out of SNOP process. Third, there is no shortcut for SNOP success. In my experience, that it takes about 18 months, mostly two years, to achieve the mature state of SNOP process, right? So when you start, start training people, start having your meetings, set up the agenda items, start discussing KPIs, your forecast accuracy, on-time delivery, inventory, uh, so on and so forth, it takes about 18 to two years where it embeds into the culture of the company, right? To the extent that the SNOP 12 months forecast will help you to create your budget, but that's the maturity level, right? The point I'm making is this, be patient, stick with it, it will work, but it's just gonna take time, right? There is no shortcut to success. Number four, don't rely on Excel spreadsheet over the period of time. So I'm just slightly going to contradict straight away. What I'm going to contradict is, do start your SNOP process with Excel. Do not go and buy you know, expensive $300,000 SNOP software Why you don't have the key processes in place or people don't understand. So start with Excel, right? Get people used to what data they are looking, what graphs they are looking, what decisions they want to make, what, con what is the process of arriving at consensus decisions and communication. Once you develop that culture and then when the Excel spreadsheet gets maybe too heavy to deal with because you have last two years of data to, to, to play with, then you should go and by all means buy a, 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 you know, a sexy software, it's totally cool, right? But for now, when you're starting your journey, Excel is good enough. Number fifth is a lack of preparation for the SNOP reviews. So one of the reasons I've seen that people fail to keep momentum of sales and operation planning is by not having a rigorous review because people are turning up to a meeting, it is the same old, same old, there is no gap closing actions, nobody's taking any decisions, then people say, oh, what's the point? You know, why would I go into that meeting? So therefore, to engage people, you need to make sure the preparation is well done, the agenda is defined. You should start a meeting from a previous uh, meeting's open actions so people make decisions, you know, or you have to force people to make some decisions, right? Because that's the whole point of SNOP. Decision making to close the gap, to meet your objectives. So one of the challenges I've seen is there's more focus on discussion and listing actions rather than execution. So as I said, if you are not going to drive decision and execute the decision, people will lose the momentum. They will lose trust, you know, and then they, the, the momentum will die and nobody will turn, turn up to your SNOP meeting. 
So what I suggest is this, right? So rather than spending too much time in discussion and then listing down action and very little on execution, and you should move away from this and you should move into more, uh, you should move to into maybe less discussion, more into listing actions, and then more execution, right? And this should be an overlapping activities. You cannot start deploying SNOP without the basic supply chain processes. So what I mean by that? Your ABC analysis, your made to stock, made to order policy, your, your key processes to measure the on-time performance, your key KPIs, right? So you need to have a basic supply chain processes and system in place before you go towards the higher level supply chain and planning process, which is SNOP. Therefore, I've made a video long time back, which it does very well on, on YouTube, that five levels of supply chain planning. So there's a link on the top. Uh, I'm not sure it's here or here, but it's somewhere, right? But you go and have a look and watch this video. So, so SNOP is a, a process which is on a high, higher level of complexity, right? To make that work, you need to have the basic supply chain process in place. So once you, you hone them, you know them, then by all means, you can go and deploy SNOP. Hopefully you like that video. So hopefully these seven challenges I have shared with you, it resonates with you. Uh, maybe you want to add a few more. By all means, add into your comment, add into the, the content of this video. That's totally cool. So if you like, like me to make more video on a different topic, please also mention that. As usual, if you like what we're doing with SM Dujo, if you want us to do more of it, so please like, share and subscribe and keep it real and keep it simple. Ciao. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below.